everyone, it's Diabetic Danica, and today I'm going to be answering questions that Chris the Atheist asked me in a tag video, and so here we go! What kinds of pumps have you tried? I've actually only ever had the Animus, but I really, really like it, and so I haven't had the need to change at all. Would you ever consider going back to multiple daily injections? I'd be lying if I said the thought never crossed my mind, because, I don't know, I tend to think about things and like evaluate, make sure it was the right decision to go on the pump, and I definitely think that I would not go back, at least not right now. Every once in a while, if I have to give a shot because, you know, something malfunctioned with my pump, um, you know, something went wrong, like the insulin went bad or something, and I have to give a shot, and I realize how small the needle is, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should just go back to shots, but then I remember how Lantus didn't work for me anymore at the end, and how six shots a day was such a hassle and like having to leave to like go to the bathroom and get a shot in public and just all the stuff that was a lot more to handle than a pump and honestly the pump gives me so much freedom and the ability to fine tune my insulin doses that I really would never, I'm pretty sure never go back to shots. It would take a lot to make me go back. Do you use the little shower plug or leave it open? If you don't know what that is, it looks like this. Um, basically tubing without the tubing. If you look, here's what my tubing is, and then here's this. So if you are taking off your pump, disconnecting for some reason, you can put this in to kind of block the opening, I guess. When I shower, I actually don't use one of these. Um, I've never had a problem with the water, like, clogging it up or anything. The opening is so small that I just feel like I haven't needed to use it. The only thing I use this for is if I go swimming in a body of water that is not clean. <laughs> so when I go swimming in like lakes or the ocean, I always use this because one time I didn't and I went swimming in the ocean and I think I got sand or like salt, I don't know, something in there and it didn't work anymore even though the set was perfect, it just it wasn't going in and so I'm like, okay, dirty bodies of water I need to use this little guy. But not for showers. What's the craziest place you've ever worn your pump? This one's kind of hard because it's basically asking me what's the craziest thing I've ever done, like since I've gotten my pump, which isn't a whole lot. Um, I guess it would be flying to Japan, because that's like super high up and super fast. Um, I had my pump when I did that. I also um, played basketball with it. I played soccer with it. I did track and field with it. And I've been rock climbing with it. Is that crazy? I don't know. Looking at this question again, I just realized it might mean the craziest place I've worn my pump, like, on me. To which I have no answer. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what it means. But hopefully I answered it right. I feel like now it's the place on your body. But nowhere crazy, really. Does your pump have a name? Of course my pump has a name. My pump's name is Pinglet, which is a play on words of Piglet and the Animus Ping. I have named every single one of my pumps so far. Do you keep your pump on loud beep, low beep, or vibrate? It only took my pump going off in class one time for me to decide to put it on vibrate at all times. Uh, it was just kind of embarrassing. Everyone thought it was a phone and I was going to get in trouble. And it was just... It was unnecessary, so I was like, I'll still feel it, I'll still actually hear it when it vibrates, so I just have it on vibrate all the time to minimize um, disturbing people. Do you have a continuous glucose monitor? I don't have a continuous glucose monitor, and I actually really want one. I never really wanted one until recently, but I just realized like how beneficial it would be to see all the numbers in between my checks, and so now I like really, really want one. Do you use a pump clip? holster, pouch, or waistband. Usually none of the above. I just like to put it in my pocket, but if I do use something, it's usually this tiny clip that I have. This one right here. Do you ever have pump envy? Like wanting another kind of pump? Yes, I do. I have extreme pump envy right now because the Animus Vibe is out in the UK, and the Animus Vibe is the pump with Animus that is linked to a CGM, and as I said before, I really want a CGM, and the reason I don't have one really is because I don't want the separate big old Dexcom thing with me, and I heard the Minimed one is like really painful and it doesn't work that good. But the Animus Vibe is supposed to be really good and it lasts seven days and it's integrated into the pumps. So you only have one device and I really, really want it, but I don't live in the UK. That's really sad. So 
all of you people in the UK, I am super jealous that you have that available to you. So, major pump envy there. I think I'll move to England. And finally, do you ever talk to your pump as if it can understand you? I mean, not consistently, but yes. Usually it's like, oh, you have no insulin left. And I'm like, no! And that's as deep as our conversations generally go. Except I do kind of get attached to pumps, so when I have to send one back because, you know, it's kind of had normal wear and tear and it's starting to kind of fall apart a little bit, I always, like, give them a little kiss and say goodbye and by name, of course. Um, so I guess that's kind of like treating it like it's alive when it's totally not. But it's with you 24-7, and so I just feel like you grow kind of attached, both literally and figuratively. No pun intended. Okay. So as I said before, this video was a response to Chris the Atheist questions that he posted in his response video to my tag. So if you want to answer these questions, I tag you to do this as well. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I won't stop you. And, you know, comment and stuff if you want to answer the questions in the comments, as a video response, you know, whatever way you're most comfortable with. And I will see you on the flip flap. Later. Oh, it wasn't that dorky. Okay, bye. Also, if you want to see the other tag video that I created, you can click here. And that will take you right to it. So, you know, click that and stuff. It's a pretty cool video. You should respond to it. It's pretty awesome. <gasps> Okay, and if you want to see Chris the Atheist video, that was a response to my video where he posed these questions, you should click over here. Okay then, adios! Happy clicking!